My name is Jane. I am Princess Etch, and I am a full-time Etch-a-Sketch artist. For a small Etch-a-Sketch drawing, my prices start at around 120, and for a large Etch-a-Sketch drawing, at least around $2,000 or so. I've sold an Etch-a-Sketch for 2,500. I started playing with an Etch-a-Sketch when I was around four. I would visit my grandma on weekends, and she wouldn't let me watch TV that much. So as a means to pass the time, I picked up an Etch-a-Sketch, and before I knew it, I became pretty obsessed with it. And it wasn't until I was around 12 or so that I realized that I was able to do drawings on Etch-a-Sketch that no one else could really do. A small Etch-a-Sketch rendition can take anywhere from five minutes up to maybe four hours. A large Etch-a-Sketch rendition can take up to 20 hours, maybe even 30 hours. It's safe to say that I've done well over a thousand at this point. Some of the Etch-a-Sketch renditions that I currently have in my possession are a skeleton, which takes 11 Etch-a-Sketches comprised to make a life-size skeleton. Van Gogh's Starry Night, part of the Chicago skyline that highlights the bean, a lot of pop cultural related things. Things like celebrities or recognizable characters from cartoons or even things like internet memes. I think that it is a really nice combination of nostalgia and joy and happiness. And there's something kind of therapeutic about drawing on an Etch-a-Sketch. And there's something really special about shaking away the drawing and just letting go of it. So an Etch-a-Sketch works by operating a stylus inside. The stylus is actually etching aluminum powder off the screen. So when you shake an Etch-a-Sketch, it's actually the powder that will recoat the screen and cause the image to erase. When you turn the knobs, the stylus will move according to which knob you turn. So one knob turns left and right, one turns up and down. And when you turn both simultaneously, you can create diagonals and curves. And if you're able to develop a muscle memory for doing that, it's very intuitive after a certain point. Etch-a-Sketch has a lot of unique limitations, and one of the big ones is that everything is connected by a single line. Thankfully, I haven't ruined an Etch-a-Sketch drawing that deep into the process where I accidentally made a big mistake, but it does sometimes happen maybe about two hours into the rendition, and that can be really frustrating. I have to just shake it away, let it go. This Etch-a-Sketch of the Taj Mahal is one of my favorites. It took me over 10 hours to render, and it's not permanent yet, so I have to be really careful with it. The way that I make them permanent is I will remove the powder from inside by one of two methods. The first method is to drill a hole in the back and then drain out the powder from inside. And the second method is to completely disassemble the Etch-a-Sketch and remove all of the components from inside. Being Princess Edge has definitely influenced my ensemble overall. I've grown to really love the color red, and I'm always attracted to finding new eclectic pieces that I can kind of add to my wardrobe to help establish myself more as Princess Edge. I always told myself that if I got bored of doing this, then I would consider stopping, but it makes me feel very special to know that other people find that what I do for a living is valuable to them and that it connects with them and it makes them happy.